Okay, make a little bit more crescendo in the, in the second bar. Very good, bravo. Make a bit of more crescendo and then start piano again. It's the only criticism for this particular. Very good. Okay, let's go on to the next. Uh, This is probably the most, the next tricky bit. Okay, that'll be easier when you're playing with the orchestra to feel the, the impulse. In some editions, that last note is piano. Okay. But don't, you don't have to worry about <coughs> that too much. Okay. Uh, then this next part, letter U, is a trio with, with where all three horns are playing together. But we'll just go over the first horn part now at letter U. Articulated when you, there's a staccato quarter note, it's important to end the note before, beforehand. So that the staccato doesn't necessarily mean short. Staccato only needs to be separated, and it needs to be separated from the, the note beforehand and from the note after. So. And the, the first note. Once again. Make sure you keep the legato, um, these notes. small detail, when you're playing in a, a three, four time, it's important no matter what the um, time signature is that you have a sense of knowing where you are in, in the bar so that the, the first beat in almost all cases needs to have more emphasis than the second or third. The third the third uh, quarter note in a 3-4 bar should be the lightest. The first beat in that bar should be the, have the most emphasis under normal s circumstances. So when you're playing, so you play toward that first beat. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you play it once again and take them into consideration. The first, the first beat needs to have more, more stress and the third needs to be lighter. contour and that's more singing. I like this. Very good. Let's go on to the, the scherzo. That's 
what most people think of when they um, hear Beethoven Third Symphony and horn. Most people think of the scherzo. So let's let's go to that now. The trio. Trio. First part of the scherzo itself is just to get warmed up. There are many different ways of going into the scherzo from into the trio from the scherzo. Some conductors like to stop and start everything and then do some fancy things with it. It's usually better just to keep, have it flow right into the scherzo. So if, um, depending on who's conducting it, but be ready to either continue or if the conductor insists on it and you are obliged to get along with this conductor, then you, uh, then you stop with the conductor. One time, uh, my professor, uh, Myron Bloom, was doing this with Mazel and the Cleveland Orchestra, and Mazel uh, stopped, but Myron Bloom didn't want to stop there. He kept going. But some of the horn players, unfortunately, went with Mr. Mazel, so it was a little bit not quite as precise as it could have been. OK, let's say the, the trio. Okay, very good. A few little details. The sforzando, the second note. I need to hear that more. So it's different from the first note. And when you're playing this rhythm, make sure that the, the last quarter note is not shorter than the actual third of the bar. Not Keep the rhythm, the rhythmic integrity. Uh, okay. Once again, please. Can you get make more? Okay, and these last note uh, shorter. Can, bum, bum. Can you play those notes the same? Bum, 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 bum. Like that. Okay, that's it. Now the whole thing again. Okay, you need to end the long notes to prepare for the quarter notes a bit. So you need to end this note. And this end this note. And the dynamic is only forte here. So you want to save some dynamics so you can make a crescendo to the high B flat, but this doesn't really need to be uh, terribly loud. There's three horns playing, and it needs to sound heroic, but uh, save some so you can make a little crescendo up to the B flat. OK. And the first. So. That's it. But, and now in tempo, one, two, ready, go. I'm still not quite happy with the rhythm. Exactly. That's better, yeah. That's it. Two. Okay. These, these quarter notes, the same, not uh, bum 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 bum, but bum bum. Bum, bum, keep them like the same length. That's it. That's it. Okay. What if I start this passage right here? That would be a great place to start, huh? Okay, bravo. Very good. Okay, well go on to the, uh, that repeats, then uh, it's with the other horns. If you play this sometime, 
and we get together with the other horn players and play it through before the before you rehearse it. Okay, the other thing in this uh, symphony, which you might have to play in an audition, is letter F. Remember the Sforzandi, okay? Boom, bing. Just try to get a, a big sound. Don't try to overdo it. Save a little bit. You have to save a little bit for the end here, okay? Okay, very good. That, that is one of the most, more strenuous things that one has to do. The notes that don't have sports on it needs to be a bit more contrast. And then end these notes. And don't uh, waste yourself on this scale, you know, just Take it back a little bit, the dynamic. Okay. And then so you have more uh, chops left for the, for the end of it. But very good, we don't have to do that again. Let's just look at this ending, the presto. That's another, you know that one? Oh, I know it. Yeah. <laughs> some conductors take it very fast, some conductors don't. Uh, I remember there's an old recording with the Cleveland Orchestra and George Sell would take it da -dee, da -da -da -dee, really very fast. But usually conductors take it at a reasonable tempo that one can play it without having to resort to double tongue or other things like that. What tempo would this conductor like? Once again. Play the 16th note a little bit louder, not louder or softer th than the dotted 8th note. Do more. So you're playing one dynamic on all the notes. The, the, the 16th note is not louder or softer. Some people like to give 16th notes a, an extra kick, and some people like to play them really light. But I think in, in this case, the same dynamic is good. Okay. Once again. <laughs> Just the first measure, ba -bi -ba -ba. That's it, very good. It has more articulation now. Bravo, very good.